Hi, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad, I ain't physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. <laughs> well, in our opinion, of course, Bob. Brad, we've done some videos on how to use this wobble board yeah. and when to use it, but today we're going to show you how to make one, right? Right, absolutely. Okay. Brad's a really handy guy, so... Good, yeah. Oh. Get, can you get off that? This, yeah. is a, this is a nice wobble board that we purchased and we use it in the uh, clinic. Um, it's made by Extra Tools. It's a nice one. And... If you're like uh, me and you want to save some money and you're handy and you like making some things, you can make one of these for less than ten dollars. Wow! This, yeah, this one here is probably fifty to sixty dollars. Yeah, easily. If you go online, you can get them. The lowest I saw was forty. The highest we saw was eighty. Okay. Uh, so how are you going to make one of these? You need now. If you look at this one, it has a flat spot on the sphere of the ball on the bottom. I personally don't like that. I, I like the ones, and I use the ones that do not have that. And I'm going to show you how to make one without that. Okay? So it's basically a piece of round plywood, and you need to have something spear shaped, hemisphere on the bottom. Yep. All right. Good. So let's go over to here. This is what we do. You go to, well, we're going to do a little advertisement for Menards. I went to Menards, and I got a Mastercraft Edge glued. What do they call that? Whatever. No, Matt, it, you could go to a Home Depot probably. Oh, yeah. Uh, a, any place like farm. that. Yeah, one Maybe. of those big box stores. And I picked up this already pre-cut. This is how it came. Guess how much that cost, Bob? I don't know. $3.99. you me. Wow. Yeah, $3.99. The hardest part about this whole project is to get the half of a round sphere that looks like this. So, and... If you go to Menards or Home Depot or some store like that, you'll find a top of a post. Okay. A wooden post, and it looks just like this. Okay? This cost me $2.95. All right. Now, the whole key to this is to cut this in half. If you're not skilled, if you don't have the proper tooling, go to a cabinet maker shop and say, can you cut this right off for me and see how much they charge for it? Sure. Otherwise, you're because you, if you put this in a chop saw and you try cutting it, it is going to catch, it's going to throw, it's dangerous. Do not sure. do that. It's not a good idea unless you really know what you're doing. If I was doing this, I would take this and glue it to a 4x4, four four, or this has a thing, I'd screw it into a 4x4, four four, and then I'd cut it so it's safe. Sure. What I happen to have at my house, I just remodeled the staircase and it had a 4 foot post. And it had a round ball on the top, and it was all one piece, so it was easy to cut it. My daughter held on to the four piece over there, and I chopped it off. And this is nice, it's oak. So once you get that past that point, and you have the half sphere, okay? I used a croquet ball last time. Oh, sure. <laughs> and uh, I've seen people use a softball. If you can cut it in half, yeah. I don't know how you're going to do that. But any way you can get something like that, that's the key part. Now... What you do is you find the center of your board here. This is a 12 inch one, so I went six inches in, six inches this way, I found the center. I pilot drilled a hole in there. I put a pilot hole in there. I went and got a little screw that was long enough to go through the board and into here. And again, if you're handy, you don't need all these instructions. If you're not handy, do not do it. Okay, put the screw in there, whoa. Okay, take some wood glue, some Elmer's wood glue. Put some glue on there, okay? We've got a pre-drilled. Get your Phillips screwdriver or whatever the screw is designed for. La -da -da -da. Boy, so you can really make this very inexpensively. Yes. If you can make that cut, that's the key, isn't it? It is, it is. You do not want to hurt yourself, so don't do it unless you know what you're doing or someone does it for you. And look at this. Look at this. That's this is, nice. That's a high quality board. Yeah, is that in focus? I would definitely glue it. If you do not glue it, I would put in at least three more screws in here so that's secure. But glue is by far the best. Okay, you glue it, it's going to be good. Use some good wood glue. Okay, don't buy that cheap stuff or some sticky stuff for that hot Would you put a uh, shelf liner on here too or not? That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Now, I would I wouldn't use shelf liner. I would use the the stickum stuff that goes on a floor or uh -huh. steps. Okay. Stairway edge. Oh edge yeah, edge. those strips. Yeah. Yeah. Those strips. 
They look like sandpaper. They got glue on the back. You can get that for about $3. And I put a few strips of that on there. And here we go. Why me? Bob, get yeah, out of there. I've never How much do you weigh, Bob? I weigh 215. 215. Oh, this is just like the other one. Yeah. Now, yeah. modifications. This is actually a pine board, and I think it's going to be strong enough. Oh, yeah. Now, what the other ones I made, you could take a piece of plywood, which is stronger than this pine. You're going to have to cut it out. You know, if you have a saw, you can cut a circle on it. It takes a little more work. Okay. But how much did you buy that one for? This was, uh, got the price here, $3.99. Oh, for $3.99, I'm going to buy that. I'm not going to cut out a piece of Some plywood. Some people would rather have plywood, Bob. Uh, really? Oh, well, it's a little bit stronger. Look how thick this is. That's you, never going to break. Well, it is pine, though, but that's another story. Yeah. If you got a, you know, if you got a craftsman out there carpenter, they might poo-poo. All pine. right. But oh. oak, if you got some oak, then you're, you could really get carried away. You want to make a gift, make an oak one. Sure. You could put some varnish on it, three coats of varnish, make it look pretty. Sure. Wow. And then you can put the strips on it. Yeah, there, and you could give it away to your, as a gift to your therapist's niece or niece oh, or that, this is This is really a nice, um, nice board. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to have you make all of our work. <laughs> I guess my nights are filled up, yeah. huh? So, thanks a lot.